Hello everyone. Okay, this is my fifth attempt to film this video. I've been having so many problems. If the, ba the battery dies midway or my wireless mic and receiver die and I have to recharge it. Um, it's just, yeah, I tried to film this earlier in the week. Today is Friday. Uh, what is the date today? July 12th. So this video is going up Saturday morning. Um, I want to get it filmed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I keep in my planner bags. I have two. Um, this is my Delphonic, so we'll start with this. So I've had this Delphonic since January. Um, it came from Japan. My very dear friend here on YouTube, um, Clarissa, otherwise known as Paper Confessions with Karamiya, and real life friend, um, went to Japan during Christmas vacation and I had, she had asked me if I wanted anything from Japan and I told her I wanted a Delphonics bag. I sent her the money to get me one. And um, I did want the mint green, but she was not able to find it. I believe it was sold out in all the stationery stores that she had gone to. So I opted for a gray one and this is the one that she picked up. Now, um, this one is a little bit different from the typical Delphonics bags that you see because they're typically made out of canvas. And this one in particular is, I think it's like a vinyl and it's waterproof, which is great. So it's a medium size is what, when people do um, show their Delphonics bags, it's usually a medium size bag and it can hold a lot of stuff. And you, as you can see, this one is stuffed. Um, I can probably still put more stuff in there, but I don't want to. Um, I typically... Well, I have brought this with me on a trip. I brought it with me to um, New Orleans when I went for Mardi Gras. And <laughs> I thought I was going to make use of, you know, like write in my planner and stuff. And I ended up not doing it, mostly because we really didn't have time. We were there for such a short amount of time. So there was really no point in me bringing it. And it's pretty hefty because of the amount of stuff that I keep in it. So because um, I brought my Hobonichi and... I didn't really need to do that. I probably should have brought my um, traveler's notebook. So I think that's what I'm going to do in the future. But let's go ahead, get started so I can show you what's in the bag. So um, we'll start on the outside. As you can see, I've got enamel pins here. Let me move this out of the way. So I've um, gone ahead and stuck several on here. I would have put more, but they're very, very big. And I just don't want to bulk up this area here because of the backings of the pins. Um, I have this pin here that I bought on clearance, like, I don't know how many years ago from Hobby Lobby. And it just says chasing my joy. And it kind of flips in and out like that. And then I've got this enamel pin here, which is from San Francisco. It's the cable car. I bought this at Mido, which is a stationery store in Japantown that's owned by Kunikania, or they're affiliated with them. Um, I have this um, postage, postage stamp looking one that's of the Eiffel Tower um, because I, I've been to Paris and that was a long time ago. I have the Philippine flag here because I am Filipino American. And then my most recent one is this New Orleans one from, um, that I got during Mardi Gras. I did pick up an Elvis one, um, which I need to put on here actually. I have to just go find it. So I've got those on there. And then I've got clipped, my traveler's notebook brass um, clip that I got from the store online here in the U.S. I actually meant to buy the one with the airplane, and I didn't realize <laughs> that I ordered the wrong one, but that's fine. I, I mean, I, I still like this, but I will order the one with the plane in the future. So um, inside, so in here, I've got, and it's... I'm probably going to move it. A very, very tiny um, correction tape. I've shown this in a haul from the bin store. And this one is um, a cream color, which matches the color of the, the paper in the Hobonichi Weeks. So um, I've been using this in there. It's so tiny. It doesn't really have, it looks like a lot of tape, um, but it's perfect. I like you know, the portability of it. So I keep that in here, but I'll probably move it to inside. And then I do keep these fussy cut stickers. Um, this is the Cutter Bee. If you are looking for scissors, especially for fussy cut and ephemera, this is, these, this is the pair that you need to get. Um, 
It's great that it has its own cover and it comes in and out really easily and they're super sharp. I've used this also when I used to make pom-poms with yarn and this cuts so cleanly, much more cleanly than any other pair of scissors I've owned. Um, if it's not this that I would keep in here, it's probably the Tim Holtz um, one with the serrated edges, the mini one. Well, that's kind of like this size, but I like that this has a, um, a cover, but I wouldn't bring this with me on a trip because it's a pointed edge and TSA would definitely confiscate that. Um, I'd have to check it in, which I don't want to do. So here I have another pair of scissors. This one is from Daiso. I think I purchased this. I don't know if this is the one because I have three pairs and I know two of them Clarissa gave me, I think. Um, but these are really nice because it's just very portable and it comes with its own cap, but these are also pointed. The other pairs that I have are, um, the rounded points. So I can bring that on my, um, carry on bag, but for now I'm just going to use this here. And I like to use that one for washi and then inside the pocket, there is nothing in there because there's just not a lot of room with everything else that I have going on um, here at the top. So we're gonna move on to the pen slots. So this pen right here, I got this pen from, I think, where did I get this? I don't think I got this from Japantown. I think I got this at a character goods store at the outlets that Clarissa took me to when I went to go and visit her during my vacation last October. I purchased, I think like three pens like this and I remember when I brought it up to the cashier, the girl was telling me that these are her favorite pens and that I was going to love them because they write so smoothly. And she was right. This is a 0.5 in black ink. And um, there's no, well, there's a brand on here, but I can't read it. It's in Japanese. But um, actually, it's not, yeah, it does say 0.5. Um, I think they were like $1.50, you know, and I like the Japanese design, you know, with the cat here so I keep that there I like to always have different pens because you know depending on my mood I might want to try a different pen then I have this pen that I think I purchased this also from Mido and it's a multi pen with three different colors this one's a high-tech uh, C Coletto great at you know writing also 0 0.5 writes very very smoothly I have here um, another multi this is a Sarasa as you can see, 0.5 multi, and this one has four. I also purchased this from Mido, I think back in March of last year. And um, I love Sarasa pens. So I made, I wanted to be sure that I was going to get, you know, one of the multis. And I love the color, the mint green. It's my, one of my other favorite colors is green. I have here a Twisby. Um, I love the Twisbys. They write so cleanly and smoothly. This one is a fine point and I have it in black ink. So if I'm in the mood to write with a fountain pen, this is the one that I'm going to gravitate toward. I do have several other brands. I've got actually the Coeco here, but I don't know. I, I love the portability of this, but I, don't know, I just don't like the way it writes. So, and then here I have another Sarasa. This is a gray one, one of the vintage, um, from the vintage line. And I purchased this one, um, from Japan when I was there in 2019 because I wanted something different other than black or black blue, blue black. Um, and I love the color. It looks really, really nice on a journal entry. Okay. Then we have this, which is a washi clip. So it's got the serrated edge. So um, I do have washi in this bag, but you know, if you want to have that serrated edge right here, as you can see right here on this tape, it's just, it just makes it easier to tear um, the washi. So we've got that. And then I always have to have a Sharpie, always, because I need this for like, if I'm doing shipping labels, to writing on washi tape, to writing, writing on anything that's just not regular paper. Um, so I've got several of those like all over the house in my planner bags and stuff like that, even in my purse. So aside from the two pockets in the front, there are pockets here. There's a pocket here and a pocket in the back. So I keep my correction tape um, right here. I have several of these 
Um, this one is like, I think it's a macaroon like collection of colors. And um, yeah, I mean, it works, you know, what it's supposed to, it does what it's supposed to do, in other words. So I don't know what the brand is or anything in particular because I purchased that from um, the bin store. And then in that pocket, I have the, these things. I have these two button flares that I got also from Mido um, that are San, San Francisco themed. I've got the Golden Gate and then I have the Skyline. I had originally planned to put these on the Delphonics, but um, this vinyl is pretty thick and I, it, you can see it's not much like as far as like a, a pen to be able to slip through. So I'm saving these for my next Delphonics pouch. I do plan on getting another one um, and one in if I can get it still in mint green and that'll probably work well, especially with that color. So I have here a sticker pack that Clarissa had also purchased and gifted me that she got this in Japan. I want to say she got it at like 7-Eleven, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, Clarissa, from what I remember. And it just has some really cute holographic um, stickers. So I like to put these in the journal. So I'm saving these for like next year's um, Hobonichis. So I can put them, put another one in there. And then I've got stickers here. So I had gone to the largest liquor store here in um, Memphis because I was going to buy some sake and they were um, having their usual um, sampling, um, Saturday sampling, you could say. And this Grind City um, Brewing Company had, they were sampling out um, whiskey. Not really big fan of whiskey, but I went ahead and tried it. It was just not, yeah. I, I didn't really like it, but they were giving away free stickers. And I like the fact that it's got the Hernando de Soto bridge, the Memphis bridge on it with the Mississippi river. And then this one is um, probably the porch in the back of the Grand city brewing company downtown by the river. Um, so I can stick this on like um, actually probably my next laptop. <laughs> and then they were having a music festival. Cause I, I went there probably at the end of March, I think to the um, liquor store and, you know, they have these flyers and I think I just, you know, stuck all of this in the bag and then forgot about it. So I just still keep it in there. So we have that. And then, oh, on the side here, the zipper, um, I have this ramen um, keychain that Clarissa had gifted me um, of Snoopy because I'm a big fan of peanuts and Snoopy and he is slurping up some ramen here. And I just thought it was really cute. So it's the zipper pull on the side. And then she sent me this um, adorable little um, charm that's got a very sweet bell sound to it. So I stuck it on there because I think the yellow, you know, really stands out against the gray. So I'm going to turn over to the back. So here in the back pocket, it's got a magnetic enclosure. And what I keep back here, make sure I got everything. Okay. So I keep um, this thin roll of um, double sided tape because sometimes, you know, if I'm not gluing something down, I'm going to double stick it. And this one works well, especially with the A6 Hobonichi and the Weeks. So I always have this in there. And then I just got these recently. My sister and her family went to the Grand Canyon and um, I told her to bring me back a patch. And so this is the one that she had brought back. That's like one of my new things is uh, collecting patches and then collecting uh, location stickers, right? So I plan on adhering this or sewing it, whatever, to a planner bag, like a canvas one, a big canvas one. I'm on the lookout for one. I've been looking on Shein and AliExpress. Um, for one, because I want it to be able to hold more than one planner bag, um, so uh, or planner pouch. So yeah, one with a lot of pockets. So that's what I'm saving it for, because I did per pick up last week this Joshua Tree one, and I want to put that on there as well. I have been to the Grand Canyon. That was like back in 2000, but I was only there for an hour, <laughs> and that was at sunrise. So I only saw, I don't even remember what, what part of the Grand Canyon we had stopped at. It, it was when me and my brother were moving back 
to Tennessee from California. He was in Southern California and I was in Northern California. And we made it a point to be able to drive, you know, by and see the Grand Canyon since we never got to do that on our very first visit to California, which we drove all the way from Memphis. Um, so anyways, yeah. And then she also got me um, these amazing postcards that are like vintage looking. Um, so we have this one here of the um, National Park, the uh, one of the, the, the flowers, I guess. And then we have this one right here at night. And then this one here with this like 1950s family car. So have those. And then she got me a pocket map of the Southern Rim because that's the part of the Grand Canyon that they stayed at. They were they stayed overnight. So they did a hike. I think they did a six mile hike. Um, and they do plan on going back because they want to try different areas um, and hike with the kids. And then these here are stickers that I got from Daiso. Um, another friend of mine, Kat, had sent me uh, these same stickers a couple of years ago, actually maybe two years ago or something. And it was just kind of funny that one of these has Francisco and Hyde. This is in North Beach in San Francisco. And I lived in North Beach when I was there. And um, if you live in San Francisco or you are very familiar with Hyde Street, you'll know that that's one of the steepest hills <laughs> that is going um, down towards the, um, towards the bay. So you'll have an amazing view of the bay, you know, Alcatraz. Um, if you're riding from the uh, cable car, especially the Hyde Street cable car. So I made sure to pick these up if I saw them again. I just like that they're black and white and that they're small. And then this here is just a sample of some layaway uh, pockets, I guess, or envelopes that I'd found over at the bin store. I got for like a dollar. I think I got like 50. And I think these are going to be really good to put in uh, like my traveler's notebook for travel to be able to stick like receipts and stuff in it. So I just kept it in there for now because it was the only one that I pulled out of the pack. So that way I can remember, oh yeah, if I start up another insert or I start working on an insert, I need to put that in there. So we're going to put these back in and now get into the bag itself or pouch. So you can see here how the zipper is closed up like that. Um, that really, this bag is like really, really waterproof, which is amazing. And the zipper is so smooth when you uh, close it and open it. So as you can see, it's filled to the brim. <laughs> I, I've really stuffed it. So I don't, and I don't need to, I need to actually move some of this into the other planner bag, which I will show you. So I'm going to pull out, I have here, these are the friction stamps. Um, now, I got all of these from Jet Pens. I don't think I bought any from Mido, although they they did sell them. But um, I, and these are pretty cheap. I think they were like a dollar fifty, or maybe a little bit more at Jet Pens. But they're erasable, so when you stick them down, you know, when you stamp, if you don't like where you did it or you messed up, you can just use the um, the tip and erase it off. So I'll show you. For instance, we'll do the hearts here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And right around the edge here, it's rubber. So that's where you would use it to erase. And then that's what the stamp looks like. I'm gonna make sure I'm in focus. There you go. And they're just self, you know, inked. So I just love the portability of it. I do have another pack um, like this, but it's not full. So let's see, but so I don't put it in there. Um, these are probably the ones that I would use the most. So I made sure to get like the weather ones. So we have sunny, cloudy, rainy, and then we have <laughs> like, it's like that emoticon of like, you know, somebody scared. And then I have like one that points. I have Sakura, this heart that has a smiley face. This one says check. Um, this one with little hearts. And then of course a plane. I do plan on buying more in the future because um, there's a pretty big um, collection of these. So I, I would love to get like all of them if I can. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pockets here on the side. We have two pockets here that um, are mesh pockets. Oh, no wonder why that didn't go in. So 
I don't know if you can see that. And that's where I keep my washi. So I'm going to pull that out. So I have them on these um, washi, um, gosh, strips, whatever you want to call it, that I got from Temu and AliExpress a while back. And so I keep a fair amount of washi on them. You'll probably see like duplicate. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't realize that I'd already done one, but that's okay. Because I, I use it a lot. So I've got several of those. Let's see what else is in here in these pockets. So in here I have some um, book markers. Where's the other one? There it is. This I caught at um, Mardi Gras from the Order of the Phoenix. This is an all-female crew. That's the sister crew to um, Sparta, which is a male crew, all-male crew. And so I just thought they were really cute. They're magnetic, and um, I love the colors. So I just keep it here just in case. And then in this pocket, I always keep the tag of the bags that I get. So this is the tag that came with the um, Delphonics bag, and it says waterproof. And then that is the model, if you're interested. There you go. And then this right here, this is the um, calibration card for the um, Canon Ivy. Always keep these because if your sticker pictures start coming out all funky, um, like the colors are not right, you just need to stick that back in and let it run through and it'll recalibrate the printer. So I try to keep those um, as much as possible because you just never know when you're going to need it. So speaking of the Canon Ivy, this is it right here. I keep it in this pouch that I got from Marshalls during the pandemic. There was two and it was actually marketed as um, a mask pouch. The other one is just pure black and I gave it to my sister because she also got a Canon Ivy during Christmas, but she's got the more updated version. This is the older one or the rather the first model which in the hard to find mint color. And I love this printer because it's so portable. So I always make sure that um, I bring it with me on a trip and that I have like extra um, sheets, packs of sheets, and I get them like a hundred at a time. I don't have any in here because I keep it in my other planner bag. So the next thing I'm pulling out here is my Hobonichi. This is the one that I'm using. For 2024, this is by Liberty Fabrics, I think. Um, I just love the color. It, I think it looks really good against the gray. And the pen that I usually have with it is a, um, this one here is a Pentel Energel. And I find that this works really well with the um, Tomeo, Tomeo, Tomeo River. I think that's what it's called, paper. Um, the only problem is that you have to blot the paper when you're done writing because if you don't, um, it will smear. So I keep this um, piece of paper right here and I just put it on the entry that I've written. So that way when I close it up, it doesn't smear. This is like a sheet that came from uh, Hobonichi. Like I forgot what it was in and I just cut it to fit in here because I figure it will work with this paper. So yeah, so that's what I keep or rather this is what I use with the Hobonichi. And then we've got my weeks, which is right here. Well, this patch finally came off, so I've got to sew it on. Um, the pen that I use with it is this little cat theme pen with the tail. Um, this one also works well with the uh, Tomeo, Tomeo River paper that's in here. So I just keep that on there. And then I've got some paper here that has to do with my resume. And then I have an insert, Traveler's Notebook insert. This is my 2024 one. Um, I put it in here so that I could go ahead and start um, posting about the Mardi Gras trip, which I know that was back in freaking February and I still haven't done it. So it's just a reminder to do that. So now we have two other pouches here and they're pretty big. So in this pouch, I have got, let me take this off. I've got um, some grid um, sticky notes and I got this pack from Daiso on my last trip. Um, this one is, uh, what do you call it? The actual um, post-it, as you can see here, post-it note 
um, grid, and it, but it's a bigger grid compared to the Daiso one, which is a lot smaller. Um, I actually do kind of prefer this one in terms of like the quality of the paper, but you get more with this and it's, you know, I don't want to, it's, this one is much more cheaper. It was like a dollar 75, I think. So I did buy like two packs. So that'll last me a long time. And then I keep in here this, um, PET sticker book that I got from Core Creates. So, um, I haven't used it yet. Um, and, but it's just to remind me to use it. The only thing is that they are not die cut, I believe. So you have to kind of, you have to cut it out yourself. Oh no, 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 they are perfect. I don't have to cut it out. So, um, yeah, so I can use this in the Hobonichi since they're, they are smaller stickers. So I just keep that in here. And it looks like that is it in terms of what I keep in this particular planner pouch. Now let me put everything back because I got to show you the other one. Let's get that in there. So you can see how I fit everything in. Ugh. Oh, one other thing. I just feel it now. I have a glue stick here and it is PET. I don't know why my mom is texting me. <laughs> She's downstairs. Um, it's called Pit. It's by Tom, um, from Tombow. And this is like the best glue stick ever. I'll go over that when I do my video on my favorite um, planner supplies kind of thing. I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff out because I don't want to take too long with the video. Okay. So my other bag is this bag. I think I've shown it in a video before. I don't know. It's like almost like a Louis Vuitton type of um, print. And it is also, I don't know if it's a coated canvas or vinyl, but it's even bigger than the um, Hobani, I mean Hobanichi, than the Delphonics, as you can see here. Well, maybe you can't, but it, it holds way more. So um, this one was my first planner bag or planner pouch. And um, I love that it opens up really wide. So right now I'm keeping my um, A5 Hobanichi in here. And then um, I have another Hobonichi um, A6. This one has the, um, I don't know what you call it. I can't remember. Hold on here. Maybe it says it. I don't think it does. It's just the regular grid paper. And um, yeah, this particular one cover I found at the bin store for like $6, I think. And it's the leather one. I forgot what year it's from, but I was just shocked that I was able to find it. And I love this periwinkle blue color. So I have that. And then I have this um, little pin bag that I got from Dollar Tree. And so here's some of the other pins. So we have, this is another one from that same character goods store um, that I, you know, I got for like a dollar fifty. And then this one I bought in Japan at Tokyo Hands. And this is a Sarasa multi-pin as well. And it holds three inks. So I have a black, uh, black, purple, and a green, it looks like. And then I have here another Sarasa pin. So I keep those in there as backups. And then what else? We've got oh, something from the hospital. We've got some pictures. I'm not going to pull everything out. Oh, I have to use this for my last trip. Um, that was the luggage tag. Um, Post-it. I found these over at, oh God, was it called Pop? I can't even remember. It's like Pop something. Pop Corner, Pop something. It's some, some store that's kind of like uh, like a five below for adults. I, that's the only thing I could think of. And so they had these really, really cute um, Stabilo um, highlighters. I just like the size of them. And so I only got four. I think I only got four. Let me make sure there's not any other colors floating around. Yeah. So mint, or rather, 
I guess a light teal, mint green, lavender, and gray. They were not cheap. I remember that. Sorry, I don't know why it stops. I guess it stops filming after a certain point. So I'm not sure where it had ended. So I was like saying, um, I have highlighters here from um, Popcorn or Pop something. Um, these are Stabilo, uh, what do you call it, highlighters. And I just thought they were really cute. So I only picked out these four colors because I really like them. Um, I just like the portability of them. And then this is where I've been keeping all of the, um, what do you call this, all of the ink refills for the pens um, that I use. I got Clarissa to purchase these for me in Japan because they would be cheaper. So I have a lot of the high-tech Coletto and um, the, Zebra, the Sarasa ones. So I keep that in there so I can remember where they're at. Okay. And then this is where I keep the packs of the Canon Ivy, the zinc paper. So I've got like 40 sheets left, it looks like. Ugh. I need to buy more. And then I've got these tiny little post-its that I thought I was going to use, but I haven't yet. So this one's a hydrate yourself. I guess this is if you exercise. These are like little trackers, habit tracker and a mood tracker. Um, I just thought they were really cute, but I just have yet to use it. And then here's another one. See, they're by the line called Noted by Post-it. So this one is more of like um, list. So it's just really cute. I think I got this on clearance. They were at Target from what I remember. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, here's the rest of the hydrate. I don't know what happened. Like it's separated on its own. Then I've got some more stickers. I got this one also over at, uh, I want to say this was at Mito, but it could have been a pop-up store that was in Japantown of Carl the Fog. <laughs> if you're on Instagram, you need to check out Carl the Fog. It's, it's really cute. And then I have some more stickers that I got in Japantown, I mean, oh, Chinatown. Uh, okay, these are pictures of dinner that was cooked for me when I was in San Francisco. Um, what else? I still have more of those wipes. Um, okay, here we go. On the side here, I have more pictures that were printed out that I need to um, put on. But I need to do my insert for San Francisco. Um, and these are the pictures from that trip. And I'm not showing because uh, I'm in the pictures and so is Clarissa. <laughs> so I have some um, stickers that I of images that I printed out with my Fememo. And then this is um, the Devil Princess. These are figures that I bought at Japantown. Um, it was kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. It was, they have a, another store, another Mito store that sells like character goods and stuff. And so... This was, I think, the first one that I had bought. Let me grab her right now. I just thought it was a really cute figure. Um, it was like $10. It was like a spur of the moment kind of thing. So there she is. She's really cute, right? So I need to actually perch one up on my new monitor by my laptop. So I'm going to put the, that one back. And then in this other pocket here, I have... I have the solar eclipse <laughs> glasses that I need to also put in my 2024 insert and with the pictures to talk about the event. And then I have ah, this, this, these are, um, they are not sticky. It's just more of a memo pad. I think I got this from, ooh, I think I got it from Mido too. I don't remember how much I paid for it. But I just like how small the squares are. And then I don't even know why that's still there. And then I've got pictures that I can't show of myself and of my family. So actually, let me throw those stickers out because I don't need them anymore since that event already happened. I think those were test stickers is what it was. And I believe that is it for this bag. So... I've gone ahead and shown you what I keep in my planner pouches. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do an updated mid-year what I use for my planners, um, like supplies and stuff, so you guys can see. So hopefully I'll be able to have that one up next week. 
Um, I've just been really busy this week having to deal with nieces and nephews and taking them places and all that, getting them out of the house basically and getting them to exercise. So um, there we go. Let me just display this better. There. So that's it. That Those are my two planner bags. All right, guys. So I hope you have a great week and a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.